Hi guys, this is Gregor from Personas and today I'm super happy to show you the new functionality that we have for Faderport 8 and 16. They are now also amazing plugin controllers as you see in just a sec and we can use them to control our input gains, cue mixes and a whole lot of other things. Let's check it out. So the first new feature on Faderport 8 and 16 has to do with the input gain controls that we now have in Studio One. If you don't see them, you can just click on the wrench tool here in the mixer and then tick the box for input controls. On the fader port 8 and 16, you just hold shift and press the pan button. And now as you can see, these faders are controlling my input gains. Let's assume that I made the mistake here, went too high with the gain, hold down shift and bring it back to the original position like so. Just tap it and it goes back into the original position. Of course, that also works for normal volume control like that. We can also adjust our cue mix levels right from fader port 8 and 16 now. Let me show you how. So for this to work, you can see that we have three different cue mixes active per channel at the moment because we're recording and we want to have different headphone mixes for each of our band members. And if I want to control each of them quickly from fader port, I just hold down the shift button and go to the sense page. Now I see all the individual cues for my currently selected channel. If I hit that again, I'm now controlling the Q1 for all available channels. And if I press it again, that takes me to the second, the third, and right back. So the last and probably biggest feature of this update for Fader Port 8 and 16 is that we can control plugins now and not just the native um, Studio One plugins, but also any third party plugins. And I'm going to show you how. Go to the Edit Plugins page and then specify which of the plugins you want to control. So in my beat right now, I have two plugins in total on my baseline. The first one is Compressor and the second one would be my Analog Delay. Now what's really cool is that if I have, say, third-party plugins and they have more uh, values than these, I can go Shift and Edit Plugins and now you can see it says page one of eight. So if I have multiple banks of parameters, I can now step through them like this, which is really, really cool. So I can control any of my plugins right here from the fader pod. Let me show you this in action. So let's start by me bringing in my side shape. And now I'm lowering the threshold from the fader pod. here really starts pumping now. Now I switch to analog delay. So there you have it. Those are the updates that we have for the fader port 8 and 16 in version 4.5.5. As you can see, now it's not just a great controller for mixing, but it's also a full-fledged production controller. 